tonight we are returning to our Scream Stream roots with Hinge VR, title available uh, on the Steam Store as well as through Veeveport Infinity. Looks pretty far out from the looks of it. It's supposed to be a horror title. Turn the volume up in the headset a little bit. <clears throat> Hopefully it's loud enough uh, out there in the recording land. All right, let's start. I didn't check any of the settings, so that could be an issue. And I have no idea how to play this. <laughs> so this is a this is a first play. Guy. There are no closed doors for me. When one closes a door, it means that this person has something to fear or something to hide. Or there's a draft. A letter. And the letter fears that hidden behind their closed door. I'm trying not to read the, the subtitles because <laughs> they're down a little too low. Okay. You open the doors. You're a door opener. Okay, we are falling. Okay, we are in a. Okay. Okay, there is some snap turning. We got our comfort settings are on. Let's hit some buttons. Okay, settings. Controls. Uh, grab mode, hold, haptic strength. Okay. That's okay. Gameplay. Rotation time. Nausea reduction. Let me bring that down. All the way. Move alignment, head. Okay, sideways move. Text projection, subtitles, disabled, why not? Okay, back. And it seems to be okay that I'm sitting, so that's good. Okay, continue. And we're playing this on the lower settings. Just again, so I can record and stream this at the same time. All right. I've only played a very small amount of Bioshock, but this is a very Bioshock looking lobby here, isn't it? To open the door, pull the handle down. Okay. Oh, it's going to be tough at the desk, but we'll make it work. Okay. That door hit me right in the face. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Off to a very weird start already. <laughs> okay. Can I jump? Oh, let's not play hide and seek. Okay. I'm not scared yet, but I probably, I probably should be. So we got a bunch of filing cabinets. Press the right stick to crouch. Okay. So now we're down low. All these clocks are doing all. Press the left stick to. Oh, great. Why would? Okay, I don't want to be running from anything yet. I'm not. I am not ready to run from anything yet. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that I'll admit that gave me the chills just a little bit. Those look like those are bodies. Those are definitely bodies. Okay. Oh gosh. Creepy ass dolls. Yeah, the cellos aren't scary. I happen to really like the cello. Although I think that weird kid just said it's hungry. Okay, look at that. There's some manacles on the ground there. The light's flickering. Something tells me something's going to jump at me and I'm not ready to... I'm not... <laughs> okay, I feel like I need to slide back just a hair. Okay, can I pick that up? No, okay. Um, this is going to be bad. Oh! 
Okay. Is there some? Uh, I probably. Oh my gosh! What the hell is that? What is that? Oh, I'm scared as hell. What the hell? Okay, let's just kind of proceed this way. Okay, I don't know that this hall... Oh, effing monkey. Stephen King is with us. What is all this, though? I mean, I can't really read. Banned. I mean, that's all I can really read. Wanted. It's getting hot in here. Oh, God. Okay, this is tough. This is going to be very, 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 very tough for me tonight. Okay. Okay. This is the most effed up tutorial I've ever played. Okay, fire. 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 Dead end. Okay, that is creepy as hell. You better not come flying at me. I'm like... What the? Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire. Okay. Where, where am I? I don't know, buddy. I, I, I can't remember anything. I, well, I got you here. Man, I need to collect my thoughts. That you do. Uh, the notebook contains a list of current tasks and useful notes. Scroll through the pages to get acquainted with new information. Now, how close to this do I have to get to pick it up? Okay, not that close. That's good. Smoke a cigarette, find memories. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That looks like a hat. I should probably put that hat on. Is that what it's telling me? Let's check the options here. Continue. Oh, okay, let's do this. I'm going to try just playing this in uh, better settings here. Since this does not seem as uh, resource intensive as No Man's Sky, I think we can bump it up to medium. All right. Okay, so we're loading this up again. <sighs> yeah, that looks much better. Oh, where, where am I? Okay, all this, all oh this God, balls yeah, I, booze. I can't remember. I can't remember. I left it here. Oh, oh, okay. I put my hat on. Welcome, you piece of shit. Don't forget the hat. Yeah, that sounds a lot like the voice of this. What the hell was that? Talented, talented audio producer Jack Kincaid, uh, who I have the pleasure of working with on the sci-fi epic audio drama Ethic Zero. Plug, plug, plug. Check it out. Podcatchers everywhere. Okay, where were we? Some items you find carry imprints of your memories, like that. Chapeau. I'm going to try something here. Um, let's see. Rotation time, rotation mode, snap. Direct. Okay, this might make me want to barf, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm not going to... I can't do that. I love you guys. I love you guys very much, but... Uh, direct rotation is going to make me puke, so you're going to have to deal with the snap turns. That's just that's just the way of it. Okay, I got this hammer here. Is this something I can pick up? Uh... 
Right, again, I'm playing seated tonight because I went running today. It's supernatural today, so my legs are tired. Cigarette case holds up to 10 cigarettes. You will find more cigarettes in other rooms. T -H -T -H. This is... T-H-H. Hmm. Familiar case in my hand. Habitual. Ah, damn, it's empty. Do we have an inventory here? Okay, I can't quite reach my journal. There's a smoke. That's one problem less. Now we need a lighter, I would assume. How do I grab my journal? Okay, if I lean over, I can. I right, find memories, smoke cigarette. All right, so I kind of got to bend over to get to the journal. That's... That's a weird-looking chair. There's something not right about that chair. No lighter in there. Here we go. Ah, we got a candle here. No, that's a lighter. <laughs> it's almost out of fuel. Damn it, I'll have to use it sparingly. There we go. That's better. Okay. This Let's is your mind the cabinet, a safe sanctuary which you can access by smoking cigarettes. Time is not passing while you are here. This place you can access every significant document and piece of information you find. Douse the cigarette to go back to the real world. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so this is where we started our adventure. Some music stands in here. This game has auto-save. Saving is done. When you go to the main menu, die, go to the thought cabinet, or turn off the game. Game saves found items and solve puzzles, but does not save your location. Even the game, you will start in your room. This is pretty far out, though. I mean, this is very, very, very interesting. Very, <laughs> very atmospheric. For lack of a better word. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's much in here. Okay, so it looks like it pins... Uh, oh, Protocol 1. Man, welcome, you piece of shit. Don't forget the hat. Well... Okay, I just want to see if I was wearing the hat. Alright, I think there's not much we can do here right now. So why don't we take a... Uh, take that. Put it out. Alright, okay. enough smoking. Time to go on. Back. Back to life. Back to reality. All right, let's, I guess, check out this room. All right, the bathroom. <laughs> Creepy shit never happens in a bathroom. Oh, hell! What the hell was that? Okay, that was some freaky, freaky, freaky business. All right, I am feeling... This is one of those games where you don't want to have your back turned. It has also kind of, it's like a Silent Hill meets Bioshock. Also, I did not shut that door. Oh, balls. I don't want to break anything. I really don't. All right. That was creepy. Did he drop anything? Mm, oh, he did. Such luck. Can I grab this note? No. You've got seven minutes until everything turns to shit. We will die in 25 minutes. It's inevitable, but we already got used to it, didn't we? What counts is what we can get done as something persists even after our death. Oh, I can't pick that up. Okay. I wonder if that gets added to my journal. Can I put it in my backpack? <laughs> <laughs> backpack, backpack. I don't think we have a backpack in this game. I also feel like this is one of those games where I cannot defend myself. Alright, this is the bedroom. Chairs on the bed, that's not weird. I can't see much out there. What's this? A light switch, okay. So we can manipulate the lights. All right, let's open the door. All right, we got the door opening mechanic down. Any other doors? Okay, not that we can see. All right, let's go through door 
Number exit. Okay, so we really haven't done much of anything. Okay. It got angry at us for a second. Right, there's something floating there. Newspaper. Shoes. Can I pick up the newspaper? Uh, metal headlines. Can I switch hands? I can. Latest hot news on skyscraper construction. All right. We'll tend to that in a minute. Let's go. Let's just move down the hallway. Right, you heard that, right? I'm hearing weird sounds coming from behind these doors, and I'm not liking I don't know what that is either. I think this is going to tell us about it, though. Oh. Breaches usually appear in the corners where three surfaces intersect. There are breaches of two types, regular and black. Regular ones can be closed by a hit of the tuning fork. Black ones can be only closed with music. Okay, so is that a breach? I don't know what that is. It's a floating semi trans There's something behind me, isn't there? Wow, look at that, though. That's pretty interesting. Oh my gosh, I do not like that guy one bit. Although, is that is that me? Also, how many times can I say interesting here tonight? You can tell I'm nervous. All right, I'm not going near that thing. Oh, is that a bottle of Jägermeister? That's gross. Should we check out these rooms? I don't even know if I can see a doorknob. Oh, there's one. Okay, that's probably not a good... Th oh, my gosh! Okay, I think that's me. Not as scary as it was a second ago. And he's our... And Heze and he are another fucking wonders. You will need something better. Just a lockpick. All right. I guess we got to find a lockpick. All right, so so we need something to open those doors. Something tells me this is a lockpick maybe down this way. So let's just, uh, that's where we, I think room 14 is our room. Oh, memory time. Just you try that, scum. Oh, shit. Seems like there's a bit of fisticuffs. Who are, who are these guys? I'm a cop. That's right. Uh-oh. Ooh. Okay. Something tells me that they ended me, and this is some... some kind of purgatory that we're in now. Grave robber strikes again. Meanwhile, police are still looking for the unidentified perpetrator who is accused of desecration of more than 30 graves at St. Paul Rose Garden at Highgate Cemetery. This time, the grave robber defiled the tombs of Hamptons of the Hampton sisters, Ethel and Janice, as well as eight, and an eight-year-old boy, Opal Marshall, all of them recent victims of the Spanish flu. Oh, so this is like the uh, early 1900s. Uh, exactly like every previous case, the unidentified Fender overturned the tombstones and opened the coffins of the departed. The bodies, however, were left untouched. Police formed a special investigation team of the most experienced detectives to work on the case. According to the press office of the U.S. Department of Police, at present, police are investigating all circumstances of the incident and conducting a complex of measures aimed at identifying the perpetrators. It bears reminding that it is not the first instance of a legal exhumation that took place during the last three months. The criminal activities of an unidentified perpetrator nicknamed the Grave Robber, and that's very clever, began earlier this year when the devastated grave of Mr. Colin Thompson was discovered. The goals of the Grave Robber are still unknown, but we will keep the readers informed of any further developments. Sick bastard. Truth, my friend, truth. Oh, uh -huh. look at me. All right, let's touch this thing. Okay. Okay. Is there anything behind there? There's not like a door or anything, is there? Some shelves, but no, that's just the wall. Oh, gosh. Future tech. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, the son. Oh, that's cool. All right. I guess, shall we see if we can get in this room? Why the hell not? We can. 
Oh, okay. This is kind of rough looking. This also has um somewhat of a layers of fear. I don't know, fear, not fair. <laughs> layers of fear type feel to it. So I don't know anything happens if I go into those little spheres. What the hell is going on here? Oh, look at that. Okay. Um I want to read this thing, but there's shit going down. Oh, hell! All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I would like to inform you that objects da 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 and da 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 are working consistently. Adjacent rooms are stabilized. Object 56-8 is unstable and constitutes a life-threatening environment. Additional materials are required to strengthen the structure. So clearly... Clearly something very, very peculiar is happening in this skyscraper. I'll find a copy of a uh, Tobin Spear Guide laying around somewhere. Alright, that fool's trying to tell us something. And that fool's us based on the based on the hat. I think that's a safe bet. Can I take this lantern? Okay. So the carry mechanic is not the greatest. Um, I think that's the door we came in. So let's see what's in here. So it's over here. Unless that they have toilet paper in this building. All right. That is a map of sorts. <laughs> Whoops. So I can't pick that up. And also no idea of where we are. If we're even represented there. Oh, there's another cigarette. Can I like put this behind my ear? Nope. I guess we got to hang on to this. Also, I don't know where my lighter would be. Let's see. Okay, there's a cigarette case. Oh, look at all those smokes. No. I wonder if it's the kind of thing. Yep. Yeah, no. I'm I'm just guessing where these items are on my body because I can't really see them from this angle. But that's okay. We'll make do. Let's grab this lamp. Let's kind of keep it down low. Anything else in here? Soap. <laughs> this lamp's going crazy. So the lamp physics might need some uh, refinement. Okay. Now, it appears that character came out of this door. Okay, there's lots of floating stuff in this room. All right, I'll just leave that lamp there because it's a pain in the butt. What is this? What do we have here? This looks like... Okay, that's just a light. See, they tricked me because it's got that green color from the other objects we've uh, interacted with previously. The hell is that? Okay. Is there someone behind me? No. Okay. There's another smoky smoke. Pop it in our case. And... Interesting clock. Can we move these things out of the way? Yes, we can. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty, pretty cool. I don't know what to make of any of this. Yeah, this definitely has a very, very, very heavy layers of fear vibe to it. All right, this is not the exit. Okay, I should have brought that lamp with me. Maybe I can go back for it. Yep. Okay. Got my lamp. And the door shut itself. Nope, so we can bust through. Okay, the bed's on the ceiling. Nothing uh nothing abnormal about that. More of that beautiful view. Okay, um okay, stuff is happening. Stuff is happening. What is happening? I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I'm afraid to turn around, so I'm just gonna look out the window at the pretty sky.
weird. Oh, there's a light switch. That's good. Although not always good. Sometimes flipping on the light switch invites in the uh, bad things. Also, what's on the ground here? I mean, weird smudges, maybe ash. Oh, there's a floating note here that we didn't see before. Let's pick this up and take a look at it. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hodges, you need to prepare the stabilization matries? <laughs> matries? Matries for each room as soon as possible. If the structural integrity of the construction is compromised after the closure, make sure enough people are sent to the foundation in order to stabilize the premises for the patterns that require sequential node activation. Send one of the novices and prepare the set squares needed to correct some of the more complex patterns. Okay, so definitely some strangeness happened up in this piece. Alright, where's the door now? I kind of guess where that was. Right, we've already been... Okay, so we're making progress. Room by room. I decided to ditch the lamp because it was a pain in the butt. Oh. Yikes. That's not creepy at all. Electricity room. Staff. Okay. My f I'm hearing voices. I'm hearing voices. What's that say? Mars. Interesting. Is the door locked? Yes, appears to be. So let's try the electricity room. Nope. All right, you shall not pass. And then we got a dead end here. What do we got here? We didn't see this a minute ago. We will die in around half an hour. It's inevitable, but we already got used to it, didn't we? What counts as we can get done? Oh, we already read that now. Are we back where we... Oh, that's not possible, though. That's not a button. This door... I mean, definitely locked. That is a locked door. All right, what are we missing? Pretty sure we already went in room twelve, but let's uh let's take a look here. Yeah, this is the weird ass uh spooky spooky room. Yeah, I wonder if we can uh take one of these pickaxes perhaps. Let's try this one. I don't want the bucket. Get out of here, bucket. This is I'll tell you this is a challenge sitting down. <laughs> I thought this would be an ideal game to play, sitting down. All right, let's see if I can, uh... <laughs> All right, those are, I know, those are some weak-ass hits. But again, I'm not trying to, uh... Oh, that's interesting. I mean, it seemed to kind of, like, change for a second, didn't it? Again, that could just be my imagination. So something tells me we got a puzzle happening here. I'm trying not to knock over my drink. Maybe we need something a little more heavy-duty. Okay, this is not a two-handed weapon. All right, that's not going to help us. I still don't understand those spheres. Their purpose has not yet been revealed to us. Okay. Okay, these these voices that I'm hearing are spooky. I don't like them. Okay. We've been in here already. We read this. Oh, no, we didn't read this, I guess. According to everything going flippity-floppity up in here. The wells on 65th and 17th 
and 70th are still empty. Order Mr. Hodges to discharge more people from Cummings. Right, I'm hearing voices. Maybe, are they coming from here? Okay. Uh, things are happening. Oh, gosh. There he is again. Okay. 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 Things are happening. There's another smoke. There's another smoke. All right, let's let's see what he dropped here. What note did he leave for us? Uh, take a look around somewhere. Here is the entrance to the foundation. Somewhere in here. Oh God, no! Oh. Okay. Well, we just died, and that seems to be a fantastic place to stop. Let's take a look. That's what we were killed by. Sounds like it's coming from that way. That's, uh, is that a memory? No, that's just blood. And I don't think we ever figured out what these things were, did we? Okay. <laughs> it's a game of discovery. Oh, God! That caught me by surprise. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in room 12. Very tentatively open the door. Okay, yeah, this is the um, freaky stone room. We read about some stuff. I don't think this is where we died. Oh, it's me. So you can't remember what if I walk into these things or what? There does not appear to be any way to interact with those that we found. So we don't quite know what that's all about. And, oh, what is this? I don't think we saw this last time. Did we pick this up last time? It's a case file. Am, am, an ambulic journey number three, date March 6th, 1913. Journey start time, 1700. Journey time, end time. 1701, Anambulic Matthew Allen, brother Nehemiah. As soon as the transition event passed, I found myself in a slightly frightening but very curious place. It was an endlessly stretching corridor from ceiling to floor, and the walls of which were made of dark, iridescent metal. Along the walls, there was an endless line of large, sweaty capsules, a bit like fish tanks. Gauges unknown to me and numerous. Can we turn the page? <laughs> Electrical cables were connected to each capsule. In addition, each capsule had its own small screen on which the name and seven numbers were listed, presumably indicating the date of birth. I remember wiping the glass of one of the capsules with my hand and seeing a man inside. What the hell? Man, I don't like this game. Uh, he was completely naked and some kind of organic pipes were connected to his body. Like tentacles. This I was frightening, but something else scared me much more. The man in the capsule was vaguely similar to me. It was as if I was looking inside the mirror. Sorry, guys, itch. I looked at the screen. It bore the name of Methion, and the date was 3382 AD. I approached one capsule, another studying the information on the screens and peering into the faces of... It sounded like a lighter, didn't it? What the hell? Damn it. Uh, people inside, and then the information was always different. Faces and variable bore the same features. My features, in addition to humans, these capsules also contain animals, beasts, birds, and fish, even plants and the simplest microorganisms. Although naturally, he did not have any human faces, I always felt a strange kinship. Like former lives, maybe? 
Uh, all of my lives or once lived and those I have yet to live. I remember staying near one of these capsules and instinctively pressed one of the buttons and suddenly found myself on the other side of the glass. And then there's a bright flash. I saw a strange world. I could not properly see it. The image was reversed. There was a loud cry of a baby. My cry. Conclusion. A versatile personality inclined to adopt experience of others for his own benefit Easy to train, may be dangerous, and must be eliminated first. Most of a madman. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wish I knew if there was something I was supposed to do. I don't understand those things. I don't know if they told me about them in the tutorial either. <laughs> All right, since we have a number of cigarettes, why don't we uh, do this? Oops. Diddle -do. That's Diddle -do. better. Okay, let's see what can be done to work. All right, what do we do in this freaky space? I think it kind of captures some of the clues. Got the grave robbers article that we found earlier. Boom, those cork boards are empty, but it looks like we've got something on that board now. I think I do I Man, stuff is happening. Smoking is a nasty habit. Uh try to pay visits to these. More on safe there in general. Okay. Yeah. We know about that. Oh, what is that? How close can I get? Am I going to fall if I go off the edge? Uh, breaches usually appear in the corners where there are three surfaces intersecting. There are breaches of two types, regular and black. Regular ones can be closed by a hit of a tuning fork. The black ones can be closed only with music. So for those of you that follow my writing, <laughs> that's a little interesting that a tuning fork is a, uh, is a tool used in this game. What's this? Yeah, it's just a music stand. All right, the wells on 65th and 7th are still empty. Order. Okay. That was a note left by one of the people doing strange things around here. I probably should read those full notes, right, guys? If we're going to be doing this properly. Uh, I would like to inform you that the objects number da 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 and da 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 are working consistently. Adjacent rooms are stabilized. Object 56B is unstable and constitutes a life threatening environment. Additional materials are required to strengthen the structure. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I think those are all the little bits and pieces of information that we collected. Oh, wait, nope, there's more over here. There's more over here. Oh, that's the case file. Okay, I feel like we've accomplished a couple things. So this building, this high-rise, is some kind of trans-dimensional something or another. Okay, do we look at this? What is this? Okay, those are from our memories, I think. The, the script of our memories, if you will. Okay. What happens? So, I mean, there's one, that one over here appears to be glowing green. Is that just the distance or what? Can I grab this off the board? I can. And it seems to belong on that board. Okay. I'm going to adjust my headset and then we're going to move on. Did I read this note? I have no idea. Let's see. Oops, I spilled my ink. You need to prepare the stabilization match uh, oh, matrices for each room as soon as possible. If the structural integrity of the construction is compromised after the closure, make sure enough people are sent to the foundation in order to stabilize the premises for the patterns that require sequential node activation. Send one of the novices and prepare uh, the set squares needed to connect some of the more complex patterns. Now, I think we died previously, and you'll see it in this video because it'll be complete. Uh looking for the foundation of the building. All right, enough basement. smoking. Time to go on. 
shut your face. Now, I think that, in essence, saved the game, is my understanding. So, see, we got these, like, these square tiles, and that note didn't mention tiles. Yeah, I can't put this up there. Alright, we came in through this door. Pretty sure, yep, that's the exit. So, here's the bathroom. Nope, not the bathroom. Oh, right, this has the, uh... Oh, is this where we died when we found that smoke? I feel like I seem to remember that. I'll tell you, all this game is missing is sort of the, uh... Snap to grabbing of stuff. None of the toilets function in this joint. <laughs> And that obviously is a map of the building. But I can't say I can't say it does as much good. Because we really don't know where we are. Well we'll see. Maybe we'll have to come back and take a closer look at that. As suspected, none of the pulling works. Anyone out here that wants to kill me? Okay. No? Okay. That's good news. All right. We're moving out into the hallway again. Oh, you know, it was the electrical room that we went into. That's where we had the problem. Okay, then we went, came in here. We saw the weird marks on the ground that looked like claw marks. I must feel like we could have died in here, but honestly, I mean... If you look at this place... Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Okay, the door just shut. Okay, so like, where did the door go? I was going to say, if you look at this place, you could die anywhere in here. All right, we need to figure out how to run. I think first things first. Okay. What the... What is this thing? Oh, it's a, it's a lion statue. Found another smoke, so that's good. This is a uh, ashtray clock. I'll take that. Thank you very much. It's interesting that this light is green, right? Hmm. I guess that means nothing. There is a door there, though. Okay. Let's try this door. Is there another door knob? Oh, there it is. Oh, look, the light went out. All right. Uh, even though I don't like the mechanics of holding the lamps... Oh, balls. I don't think there's any lamps in here floating around. Are there? Okay. All right. <laughs> Can I use my lighter for light? <laughs> Very nervous about going in here. This is not adding too much light, is it? Oh, it's an upside down bathroom. And the lights don't work in here. Shocker. Is this a door? It looks like a door. Oh. What the hell? All right. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on now. It's like... We've stepped into the Upside Down. It doesn't appear I can interact with the toilet. Alright, that's we came through there. Alright. I think it's going to take us forever to figure out this game. Only because everything... Is, is, there's, if there's a whole other layer 
to this reality. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, what is this? Ah, are you important? Do I need to read you? Or are you just a, uh, a floating book? Okay, it doesn't seem to be important. All right, can we get out into the hallway? Where did we come from? I think it was that door. I think this is... Okay, bedroom. These weird kind of bubbles around everything. I don't understand that. Oh, look, there's a symbol above that door. So we came out of that door. Oh, no, that's the door we came in through? I think that's the door we came in through. This means... Oh, I thought I saw a sheet. A, <coughs> a paper floating around here. But I guess not. Where'd it go? What is this on the ground, though? Oh, it's just a towel. It's just a towel. That's the door we came through, though. It was right there. Yeah, it must have just been a reflection. Well, so we'll try this door, probably walking to our death. Oh. Wow. Look at this. I wish I could tell you that I knew... Oh my, that's, that's a bit creepy. I wish I could tell you that I knew exactly what was going on in this game, or that I knew a little bit of what was going on in this game. But really, at this stage, I have no idea. Although I do think that this maybe is a... Oh, God! No! Alright, <laughs> I just got hurt by something. I don't know what. We're alive, though. And I just ran through the first door I found. Is this a door? No, this is a window. Oh, look at that. It almost looks like the weird uh, planetoid in Into the Radius. Oh, this must be the maze. Let's see. Enter the maze. All right, so now we got to figure out how to get through this without dying. All right, we got the squiggly symbol above that door. Are they the same symbol? That symbol is the same as that symbol. I wonder if I have to find the door with a different symbol. What the hell? That seemed to react to me touching it, didn't it? So if I... Okay, we decided that was the same symbol, right? That's a different symbol. That is a different symbol than that symbol. So we're going through this one. All right. It appears that we are out of the maze. And this appears to be a different room. Maybe. I don't like how that lion is looking at me. Stop looking at me, lion. I'm having small issues with the door opening mechanics. <laughs> As you can see. Alright, this looks much like where we began, doesn't it? I guess that lion was sitting there the whole time, wasn't he? Can we take him with us? Can I take you with me, lion? Oh my god! Son of a bitch! <laughs> What the hell? Okay. <laughs> was messed up. <laughs> oh, this is totally different. That does not look like something that is healthy for me to get involved with. Okay, so that... We got a different symbol for each one. I wish I could write those in my notebook. I'm not going to get close to that. Because that looks like trouble. Okay, and there's that symbol, which looks very familiar to the one we saw previously. 
think those are exactly the same. Same. Different. What happens if we go through this one again, though? Okay, same room. But that symbol's different above the door. This is definitely the room where that line just, uh... I think it is. Let's take a note of that picture there. And let's go back through. Okay. Let's just go directly across. Through this one. Okay. Now I think we are in another part of the maze. And I feel like staying in one place for too long is not good. Okay, so those two are the same. That one's the same, that one's the same. I don't like the sound of that, so I'm gonna run through here. Okay. This is a little different. Same, same, different, same, yes. Okay, we've seen that symbol before, though. Now we're back in this effing room, huh? Is there anything else we're supposed to interact with? This is what it looks like to be lost in a trans-dimensional hell maze. Yeah, there's, I mean, that's the only way through is through those large doors, as it would appear. But there's our, there's our winter painting. Okay. There's our winter painting. All right, we came through this door. Let's go through this one. Okay. This looks a little bit different. Symbol is the, that sounds like footsteps. Not people footsteps, though. All right, that door has blood underneath it, and that does not. So we'll go for the door with the blood underneath it. Okay, this is a bit different. Okay. Ah! God! Mamacita! Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks for that. <laughs> I really need that. Okay. Uh, so to be careful, this fucking accompanist is uh, making his benefit performance right outside this door. Ever heard of music that makes you want to die? This tune will make you die very quickly. If that's not what you want, you have to find the tuning fork as, to quickly, as quickly as possible. Hold it to stay unharmed, but don't overstay your welcome. This is a door, but there is a door below. Fear not. After all, we've done it a hundred times. All right. I don't see any tuning fork. Is this is just a wall. Yep. <laughs> all right, going through. Uh, oh, that was a little different that time. Oh, I don't like this. One bit. This is... Okay. Whew, I thought it was going to stay dark like that forever. All right, there does not appear to be anything laying around on the ground here, so... Let's go through here. Okay, this... We've... I feel like we're backtracking now. Again, this is why they call it a maze. If I go back and forth through the same door. I feel like we made progress for a moment there. Okay, there's our there's our gooey pillar. We'll go through this little guy. Oh gosh. Should I follow him? Oh he just disappeared. You know what I realize now? Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Run! Run for your life! No, I think I'm dead. I am dead. Oh, no, that lady sounds a lot more upset now, too, doesn't she? Okay. Where the hell is this tuning fork, then? That is what we gotta find, I guess. I wonder, could it be on this floor somewhere? Don't you shut my face door. Oh. 
Well, this always doesn't look any different. I mean, it could be something that we missed. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Let's just check and be on my, my shoulders. No tuning fork. Room 16. Oh, hi, me. Uh, in here are... I just don't like my handwriting. Here are another effing wonders. You'll need something better than just a lockpick. Okay. Thank you. Okay, locked, locked. And this is the end of the hallway. All right, message received. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> oh, mama. That's spooky. He crawls out of the breached angles and he won't go away until all the breaches are closed. Keep in mind that he's the outsider here and he can be easily confused, never turn left, never even look left when he is near, and he won't catch you. And close the damn breaches. Okay. He's like Zoolander. He can't turn left. Is this the news article we saw before? Nope. Latest hot news on the skyscraper. Because it's hot. 14. I hear music. 11. 12. So I think that's definitely my own echo that we see walking through. All right, staff and electricity room. Hi, me. Hey, buddy. We will uh, die in around half an hour. It's inevitable. <laughs> really got used to it. Okay. Well, you know that we keep dying repeatedly as well. I think we'll try the staff room since I think we died in the electrical room last time. Okay, that door's not opening. And that is not a doorbell. <laughs> Okay, this could be the end of us. Damn. Okay. Appears nothing we can do there. So do we try to find our way back into the maze? Which was through this door? Can't remember how that all happened. I think there was something, right? Was there something in the uh, in this room? That no, wasn't in that room, so we don't have to bother. I think there was a room across the hall that had the portal. Can I walk through this? Nope. <laughs> Clonk right into the stone wall. So that's the only tough part of the mechanics is... Uh, is opening doors while sitting down is a bit of a pain in the butt. Otherwise, actually, doesn't appear <laughs> too bad. <laughs> I want to open this door. All right, there we go. Got to do the crossover. Call that the crossover. All right, how about you? You look locked. There we go. All right, this is this looks right. And maybe that's why there's that green light there, because that is to indicate that this is the entrance to an unsavory place. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. Here we come. Okay, back in the maze. He wasn't killed by monsters. He was killed by doors who he had a hard time opening. Okay, so we came through this one. And then... Let's see... Went through the squiggle, the squiggle door. Oh gosh, I'm not. I know, I know your tricks. I'm not going near that statue. Uh -uh. I went through this one. Oh gosh, I still haven't quite gotten used to that. And then this one. Let's just get our bearings. Oh, look. That's crazy. All right, I want to try to get through that door without it seeing me. So I think if we wait for it to kind of dissipate. Oh. 
I died again. Man, I want to help whoever that is. She sounds like she is in trouble. Okay. From now on, we'll be pushing through the doors. All right, let's run. Oh. Was it 11 or 12? I can't remember. Yes. Okay. Why did I do that the backwards way again? All right. Back in the bathroom. Back in the upside down bathroom. All right. Here we come. I mean, it could be that I think that's the right way. When in essence, it is the wrong way. <laughs> Hmm. I know. I know. Don't go this way. Such a curious thing. How do I use it? Okay. I can't grab door knives, can I? Okay, run, run, run. How did we get here? It was through here, wasn't it? Get out of here. Oh, hell. Can I, can I... Oh! Oh! That was unexpected. Go, baby, go! Oh. Okay, now, now it's part of me. Now it is part of me. So here's what we're going to do. Can I... Get out of here? To save my game, perhaps. Maybe the things are happening around me. There we go. That's better. Okay. Nice. Let's see what can be done. <laughs> so now we, got, now we got the tuning fork. And we made our way through part of the maze. And there's a whole separate floor on that level of the maze. Or the level that strange, orangey, fiery area so that might have other entrances to other places so we got stuff to figure out but hey i feel like we definitely made some progress here in this strange game so not much an idea of what is happening but i like it all right everybody thanks for watching and we will continue this very soon.